Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about how to handle checkbox and radio button in WebDriver IO. Okay. Uh, basically, I'm going to take for this particular example and here is basically can able to see there are two drop down. Uh, there are two radio buttons and there is a checkbox here. Okay. We can able to take the uh, X path of this. We can able to select. It will take for one selection. It will allow any one we can able to select and here multi selection and single selection of checkbox it will be presented. Okay, how we can able to handle how we can able to click for this particular element. Here there are uh, possibilities like a different different approaches are there, but we can able to take that. Here we can able to see there are input it is there, but uh, type is radio button name is radio options and model is radio value and value equal to male okay this is the attributes it is having even you can able to check for female also female also similar but only thing is value is changed most of the time it will comes like that or else we can able to use for there is a uh, nth uh, css selector by using css selector there is a nth position that we can able to take it for first position second position or the third position what are the like how many radio buttons are there which radio button you are choosing based upon that also you can able to choose okay or else you can directly use for value equal to mail directly we can able to take it up okay and how we can able to print all the radio buttons in a page and how we can able to click the particular radio button value and whether that particular radio uh, button is selected or not means it is selected or not if you selected it will come for true if not selected it will come as a false okay and after that we can able to click for checkbox okay that also we'll see for checkbox whether it is checked or not okay for this i'm going to open in this part. and i already created for this and here we can able to use it for await and single dollar we'll first we'll uh, rotate for loop then uh, we'll print for all the values then we'll select for one by one okay for this i can directly take for name name attribute okay i'll take for the name attribute and name equal to this is my CSS selector it will gives you two draw so radio buttons are there one out of two then we can able to use for we are already explained for what a single dollar and double dollar can provide the similar format like uh, double dollar means it will give for the list of elements and uh, single means single uh, element double means double elements okay array is not required for each element and then we can able to go ahead here a constant is a variable creation of value equal to element dot get attribute attribute is nothing but which is the attribute we are going to verify right by attribute value is this is the one and we need to provide in a single quotation which value we are going to take and console dot log and we are going to print for that value okay and the console we can able to see that value is presented or not okay first we'll pr print for that value then after that we'll click now i'm going to run Now it is open the browser. Now it is closed and then you can able to see. See now here male and female. Both the cases are present here. Okay. Both the values are returns. Okay. Then we are going to use for another case. Which is we are going to click for the element. Okay, for this I'm going to use for direct value that is a value equal to male. Okay, this is the option we are going to use it. 
okay and here i'm going to take for mine one out of one it is presented now i'm going to take the tag a path and providing that particular value and i'm going to clicking that function okay then i'm going to wait this particular element and again what i can do here await console dot log and then i'm going to take by my path here and then i'm passing for is selected okay is selected text box that particular radio button whether it is selected or not if it is selected it will give you as a pass to like true if it is not selected then it will give you as a uh, false now mail is selected now our test case got passed even you can able to see result is true and even you can able to see the above values also presented male or female okay after that again it is searching for result and that is a true if it is select it will provide as a true okay and then we printed for multi and also we can able to take for nth element nth element is nothing but we can able to use for nth child and we can able to provide for which one we want to select it okay this is the format we can able to select now i'm going to again after this again i'm going to use for await and single dollar and single quotation i'm passing for and now i'm going to take for two but only thing is it is not a mail attribute and we'll take for another option that is a name attribute option name equal to this particular value then colon nth child and then i'm going to use for my second option here it will not be display and in the runtime we can able to get this option now okay our test has got passed okay this is a way we can able to use it for our nth child element also we can able to take the nth child element and we can able to click that particular option also okay this is another case okay nth child is very rare case we can able to recommend or else we can able to when we can able to use nth child element right whenever you want to pass something uh, to select in a run time or uh, some value some function creation time that moment we can able to use for nth child option to creating for male and female there are two drop downs if you want to create a reusable function we need to create two functions then right two functions we need to create two functions then it is not a good idea to create for two male and female both the cases if you are using for index position or value of that anything we can able to create single function then we can able to reuse it okay that is called reusable function and the page object model uh, time i will explain you one format then you can able to reimplement that uh, particular uh, thing into your scenario please okay then second case is checkbox checkbox is nothing but this particular checkbox to check that one whether it is selected or not we need to check okay and here basically i have for directly id okay 
and in case if you have value value attribute is every time unique then you can able to use the uh, value attribute and you can able to check the checkbox now in my case i'm going to take for this particular id okay now again i'm going to use for await and a single dollar for id indication purpose hash symbol and i'm going to use for click okay then again i'm going to use for await console.log and here again i'm going to use for same path is selected function maybe you'll get it for this particular value every time we are making one particular like a, uh not a reusable function like re reusable web element reusable web element purpose we can able to use a weight a weight where check equal to a dollar and we can able to specify which item we are going to provide this way we can able to save that particular element okay and we can able to use it for this particular element to here like this we can able to click even select location also we can able to do it that format for one time you need to create one web element we need to reuse every time wherever you want to use it that time you can able to use that format okay and here the not much right that's why i'm going to directly using this particular uh, again and again I save and again I'm going to run. Now we can able to see radio button will say uh, clicked and it is verified. Then also checkbox and it is verified. Okay, if if you go little bit top, you can able to see one true, another true. Okay, two values. Okay, this way we can able to do it for checkbox and radio button. I hope it this information help for you. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues.